<clears throat> Do not keep your love stored away in its block bag. Subscribe now. Subscribies. Like and subscribe. Captain's vlog number triple B lowercase z or z depending on which puny part of the earth you're from. What if every single thing inside your brain was stored inside a Ziploc bag? And I'm not talking about the brain parts. I'm talking about the thoughts, the memories. And you might think you could fit larger size gallon bags or even garbage bags, but you cannot. They are too thick in circumference. A swap just because they are sold at your local grocery store, but nope, nope. Have you ever stopped to wonder how your brain stores memories, thoughts, ideas, cues, equations, emotions, feelings, theoretical misnomers, colors, insults, puns, uh, riddles, directions, facts, Feelings, Space Mountain Man subscriptions, names, rumors, shapes, conspiracy theories, answers, jokes, and most importantly, postulations. Take my brain, for instance. The biggest brain that has ever existed in human form throughout all eons of time and all of space. It can store vast amounts of information, more than your puny earth brain can even imagine. Because one tiny little speck of my brain is larger than your entire brain. <clears throat> I laugh because it's funny. It is not funny to laugh at puny brains. The human brain is shaped like a walnut. That's what the scientists say that have done the autopsies and studied the anatomies of the people. As for me, I study the anatomy of the majestic space raccoon. That is a conspiracy theory and I will not have it. I will not entertain your conspiracy theories i only deal with facts and the fact is your brains contain ziploc bags that hold your thoughts memories and all the stuff i can fully attest that this is true for many reasons one of which is because i have the largest brain you need not concern yourselves with any additional worries about the veracity of this fact it is true Conspiracies always sound weird at first, but then once everybody's talking about it, it's no longer weird because it's commonplace and because it's safely tucked inside the Ziploc bag within your brain. So, so, yes, haha, <laughs> let us take this one step further and I will try to speak very slowly and concisely using the least amount of big words so that you can follow along, dum-dum. Oh, for the duration of this human anatomy and human psychology lesson, I'm going to ask you to forget everything you've ever learned about the human brain. Just ditch it. Ditch it in the ditch, throw it in the gutter, Dispose of it promptly. Hear me now and listen to me later or now. Lesson number one. Forget about the hypothalamus. Forget about the myelene sheaths, the pituitary glands, the synapses and the neurons, and the cytokines and the cell numbers and the hemispheres. Just forget about all of that garbage. Just forget it all. Oh, we cannot make this up. Thinking you can store more information than is earthly humanly possible inside a trash bag within your uh, cranium is preposterous and I sincerely hope you get mental help for that thought. 
All you really need to know is that within the human brain, within these walnut-like structures you call brains, there are huge crevasses. Oh, they're like little caverns. They're like the Grand Canyon, only very thin. They are very thin, thinner than the human eye can see. The wrinkles of the human brain are truly wondrous. So I postulate what is inside those ultra thin, super deep pockets within the brain. <laughs> the answer may surprise you. It is actually sandwich bags. <laughs> yes, sounds strange. You know, the thin ones that are super slippery between your fingers. The cheap ones, not the thick freezer bags. That would be ridiculous. That's a preposterous accusation that you would have freezer Ziploc bags in the brain. No, no, they're sandwich bags. Oh, Ziploc bag brain. Ziploc brain bag. And because they are so slippery, that's why you forget things. They just slip away. They slip out of the pockets in your brain. They are memory pockets, but gene pockets would never fit. And sometimes uh, what happens is all that goo and blood and mucus inside your brain acts like suction cups to the plastic Ziploc bags. And they keep it there for storage. And then in the veins and the tentacles and the cartilage inside your body can stick stuff inside those storage bags. Have you ever noticed that Ziploc bags are transparent? It helps you remember things. It helps you know which Ziploc bag to open. Otherwise, you may open the bag of nightmares and then you would, everybody would, would be pooping their pants all day long. Oh, it, it's very similar to a Ziploc bag filing cabinet. I mean, think about it. It's very simple to comprehend when you break it down. Otherwise, how else can you explain how your brain is able to remember things? It sounds strange because it's the truth and the Galactic Federation of Light does not want you to know the truth. That is why you come to me. I am the benevolent space disher of truth. The truth meister. They, they do not, not want, want you to, to know, know it is, is true. true. But it does not make it less true. You have to put something somewhere to be able to retrieve it again. It must be placed. Memories, thoughts, pontifications, creative whims. They are stored the exact same way in your brain. You simply stuff the thoughts inside the sandwich bags and you can recall them later. Now, a little known fact about these sandwich bags. The, the truth, truth is, is some are born, born with fewer sandwich, sandwich bags. bags. As for me, I've got a billion sandwich bags within my brain. I can't, I have so much storage area. My thoughts could be stored forever. It's a very safe place. Now, the average human only has two or three sandwich bags in their brain. Uh, therefore, uh, they, can, they can hardly contain a full season of friends. You simply stuff the bag with stuff you want to remember. Stuff, 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 stuff. You don't even need a big word to explain it. Stuff, you just stuff the stuff with stuff in a Ziploc bag, in a sandwich bag. I mean, the bigger the word, the less space for the things to be stuffed inside the Ziploc bag. That's why you need a big brain to store lots of information, i.e. stuff. Earth humans equal small brain. Dumb equals not enough Ziploc bags inside your brain. Like I said, you've got to have a big storage space for all those Ziploc bags. Earth humans are pathetic. They are sad, severely lacking in Ziploc bags. Space Mountain Man equals big brain, equals smart, copious amounts of Ziploc bags within my brain. <sighs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's why I wear this raccoon skin cap upon my head, because I have to hold the massive amounts of brains I have inside. 
The Ziploc bags are just trying to burst out! There are so many of them! Repetition! Smepetition! Zippity doo da bags in the brains! Beeble brains bags booble da dee boo! Just remember, just remember if you forget, a Ziploc bag keeps it in check. We wrap this song in our space caverns, hunting down the raccoons to eat them for lunch. That didn't rhyme, that was super dumb. Good luck, have fun, and subscribe to my channel, you big dumb dumb. Don't sing, Space Mountain Man, give it up. Keep your day job of floating around on your little mountain, because that's what I like. I like it, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it!